optimism among American small businesses slipped in February, and there was quite a lot of criticism from that corner about the president's budget. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner responded, telling members of Congress the administration is working on plans to specifically focus on small businesses, which do account for more than 80 percent of the jobs in this country. Is it too little, little too, too late? late? Here to debate the issue, Lloyd Chapman, founder and president of the American Small Business League, and Heather Boucher at the Center for American Progress. Thanks to both of you for joining us. We appreciate it. And Lloyd, I'd like to start with you. There has been a lot of criticism of the president's budget, and primarily it's this. They say a lot of small businesses uh, take their money from the small business and put in their personal income tax, and that is why they'd be subject to the increase in marginal tax rates on people making over $250,000, and people say that would mean fewer jobs. Now, now they're, they're saying they're going to have up to, what, $28 billion in lending guarantees just for small businesses. Is it going to help? I don't think so. I think it's too little too late. I think that people need to understand that 98% of all U.S. firms have less than 100 employees. They're, they create 98% of all new jobs, and so far, small businesses haven't gotten one dime from the stimulus bill. Uh, their taxes are going to be raised. There's been no policies to stop the abuses in existing economic stimulus programs for small businesses. And it's been reported that President Obama is going to support policies to divert more federal small business contracts to a venture capitalist. So, uh, I'm just not encouraged by it. Heather, what about you? One, one analysis I had seen, by the way, to be fair, showed, showed that fewer th than 600,000 small businesses actually do put their business income through their personal income tax. So uh, in terms of a percentage basis, this tax argument doesn't hold water. Well, the tax argument doesn't hold water also because that would mean that that small business was bringing in net, that is profits of over $250,000 before they'd see any tax increase. So that small business owner would be doing quite well. And quite frankly, it's the opposite problem now for millions of small business owners all around the country, that they're not seeing demand, they're not seeing enough customers, and they're not doing very well. So I don't think that we're going to see very many small businesses who are bringing in $250,000 of individual profit, um, where, where that, uh, that small increase in the marginal taxes is going to be a problem. Problem right, right now. But there's another thing. I mean, small businesses are incredibly important, and I do think it's important that we make sure that stimulus dollars go to those small contractors. A lot of the construction funds out there for those projects will go to those small business owners who own construction companies. And the economic recovery money that we're spending is going to put money in the hands of people by giving folks new jobs, and that's going to be fantastic for small businesses because they're going to see customers. Well, I, it's not clear to me, other than these construction jobs where this is going to happen this and and you know while I'm on the subject this whole construction project thing strikes me as bizarre uh, you know this is not the 1930s or, or 40s most of the people who are unemployed most of the small businesses who need some kind of help are not in the pick and shovel business except that half of the jobs that have been lost since December 07 have been either in manufacturing or construction. We've seen construction jobs disappear all around the country and getting those folks to back to work is an important so piece of the economic recovery package. So what are we doing so to help manufacture? Well, we're putting money in the money, we're putting money in people's pockets by getting folks back to work. We're making investments in communities. How are we getting them country. back to work in, in, in manufacturing? Well, it's the same. We're, we're going to be spending money on uh, investing in the infrastructure projects, investing in alternative energies, investing in health IT. Many of these things are going to lead to more people having jobs, more people demanding cars, more people demanding manufacturing goods, and and so the cycle will become a virtuous cycle rather than the one we have now, where we have millions millions of people losing their jobs and not out there demanding goods and okay. services. Lloyd, you said, and, and, you, and you're speaking for American small, small businesses, business, that you don't think that this effort to increase lending, this additional effort from Treasury, will be enough. If you're speaking to the administration right now, tell them what would. What do you need to happen right now that could make a difference for small business? Well, since 2003, over a dozen federal investigations have come out that have found that up to $400 million a day in federal contracts earmarked for small businesses had been diverted to Fortune 500 corporations. So if President Obama wants to do something for small businesses, hmm. he needs to make good on a February 2008 campaign promise when he said it's time to end the diversion of federal small business contracts to corporate giants. That would have a huge impact. That would be $100 million a year. That would do more for small businesses than anything that's been proposed so far. And it'd be real simple. He could do it with an executive order or a piece of legislation. Hmm. Well, perhaps he heard that. Thank you very much, Lloyd. We appreciate it. Thank and you, you also, Heather Boucher. Thank